All right, a lot of people talking about this for the first time in decades. Detroit is seeing actual growth in its population. The U.S. Census Bureau estimates the Motor City had a net gain of 1,852 people, which doesn't seem like a lot. But when you consider the city has been losing people every year since 1957, it's a pretty big milestone and achievement. Joining us now for his take is Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan. Mr. Mayor, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a big day, especially for longtime Detroiters who for decades uh, have watched uh, their neighbors move out, businesses move out, auto plants move out. Uh, we've had growth the last few years, but it's very exciting. The Census Bureau now recognizes Detroit as one of the growing cities in America. Absolutely, and that's the list you want to be on. When you were running for your first term as mayor back in 2013, you told residents at the time the one metric you wanted them to judge you on was population growth. You said if it went up, you were successful. It's taken a little longer than some hoped, but do you feel right. like it's come full circle? You finally fulfilled that campaign promise. No, you're right. In 2013, I set off every speech. Uh, saying I was born in Detroit in 1958 and the population of this city has dropped every single year I've been alive. Uh, and so it did take longer than I would have hoped. Uh, but we not only did it go up, but we jumped from 29th to 26th place uh, nationally, passing Memphis and Louisville and Portland. Uh, and it's exciting to see Detroit climbing uh, the list of most populated cities, not sliding further down. Let's talk about the behind the scenes of that climb. What do you attribute to the population increase? Well, it's been 10 years of hard work uh, by a lot of people, but uh, you know we've taken 90% of the abandoned buildings out of the neighborhoods that had to be demolished. And as a result, we had 10,000 vacant buildings that people moved into and fixed up. That was a big factor. Uh, the Detroit Riverfront, as you know, has been named best river walk in America three years in a row. It's been a huge attraction. We got all four professional sports teams downtown. Uh, we've been rebuilding beautiful parks. Uh, and there's a spirit in the city that people just want to be a part of. Absolutely. We mentioned this right as we started. Just more than 1,800 new Detroit residents in this estimate. I want you to celebrate. I want you to soak this in. But I also want to ask, when do you think we start seeing numbers like 18,000 new people moving to Detroit? What's it going to take to keep this momentum going? Well, I think uh, something like the NFL draft, where 775,000 people were there and all of America uh, saw Detroit having a great time. Uh, and in the long time, Detroiters, those who never left, you will find them to be the most welcoming and friendly people in the world. And so uh, we're glad to have neighbors in those uh, houses. We're glad to have neighbors in those new apartment buildings. Uh, and we're just going to keep rebuilding. What do you think is the biggest risk factor for slipping up a little bit, for going backward and seeing the population dip again? Would that be crime, a lack of job opportunities, yeah. a lack of public transit? What are you most focused on maintaining? You know, it would, it would, you would have to go back to the old politics, the politics of Detroit, us versus them, where the mayor fought with the council and, and Detroit fought with Lansing and Detroit fought with the suburbs. It was just such a destructive path. But I think we permanently... Uh, put that behind us. Uh, and we've rebuilt uh, with open arms and with partnerships. And I think that's going to continue. All right, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your time and insight.